Hey what's happening guys my name is Saurav and welcome to another video for Lemon Solutions and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can implement contain security policy in your ASP.NET Core app MVC application so what exactly is the contain security policy so let me just quickly explain you so as you can see it over here I'm using image tag and uh, like this is download.jpeg this is coming from my www root folder like here like I've used the file so if I start the application the image is coming here perfectly now if I go to Google and if I search any image and if I take the URL of it like copy image address and now if I'm coming back to my portal here and if I go to in the inspect element and try to change the URL will it work or not it will work and the image is basically getting changed so this is what basically content security policy helps us to prevent it because I don't want like if any user come to my website and they can just basically inject anything into my application so this is where the content security policy works now how we can basically implement it now we'll just quickly go to the jump into our application now in order to implement this content security policy we'll be adding a sort of middleware in the middleware section so let me just quickly go to program.cs file here is the middleware section and we'll be creating a custom middleware so in order to create a custom middleware, we'll be creating a folder here. So let me just quickly stop the application. And now click on right click on the uh, project add and then new folder. Here we will be naming at custom middleware. And within that we'll be creating a class and we can just name it as content security policy middleware. Since this, this class will be used as a middleware, so we'll have to inject the request delegate so the request can be passed to the ne uh, next uh, middleware. So we'll be creating a constructor, a public constructor, and here we'll be injecting request delegate and we'll be creating a field of it. And uh, now we'll have to create a class. So we'll be creating a class like a, a sync class. So the code I've already like uh, is ready. I'll just quickly paste it. So this is the code that will be basically helps us to prevent the content injection of content. So I'll just quickly explain you what exactly like what exactly is being done here. So we'll, we are adding a content security policy and there we are defining the sources basically like the default source is self self means like whatever is present in our solution. So that is means self if we want to allow any sort of url or something we'll have to put it here i'll quickly show you like how we can just make it but now we have defined like the self so as in like whatever we are putting it in our solution file and we are using it that means that will work but if we try to inject any external file or something like let's suppose i have a script tag and i already have a script here like the site.js so if i'll use it my in my view it will work properly but if this site.js is present in let's suppose like github i've uploaded this site.js to github and if i try to use it like in my application it will not work let me just quickly show you what exactly i mean let me just quickly start the application and once the application so the application started and our image is coming up properly here let me just go to inspect element so since we have already implemented the content security policy so we have missed us one thing we have created the class but we haven't configured the middleware in our middleware section so in order to configure the middleware section we'll just have to go to program.cs i've already configured this middleware section i've already written the code i'll just uncomment it and i'll bring the namespace here now the middleware is configured properly in our application now if i click if i run the application and now our, our image is coming up properly here so if i go to google and i'll pick any image url here like copy image address and if i try to replace it like how we did earlier the image is not coming up here so like our content security policy is working absolutely fine if i go to console you can say it like we are getting a message like refuse to connect to this because it violates the following content security policy directive and here like we are using we are replacing it with the image like refuse to lose the image and is, this is the url of the image because it violated the content security policy directive now if you would like to if we are using any sort of url that is basically uh, external url let's suppose we are using bootstrap url like the cdn link and 
you know uh, in our application so in order to accept those urls in our application we can directly configure it let's suppose i have a url and i'll go to the start so this is basically data.ifg let me just quickly go to any sort of other urls here if i copy the image over here like the image address and if i check the url here so this is basically https cdn and it's a pixabay.com and so what i'll have to do is that i'll have to in order to allow this image in our application we have to allow this in our content security policy so i'll copy it and then i'll go to my class content security policy here and in the image source we'll just keep it like this and once we save it and if we rerun the application and if we copy the image source here and if we try to replace it here and this is working absolutely fine but again if we are deleting it here and if we save it and if we are running the, this application again and if you try to re like replace the url with the same you can see that it is basically blocking it here so this is how the content security policy works guys so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful to you so do not forget to subscribe and don't sort of stay happy and i'll catch you guys in my next video Bye bye